Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the domain of this function we have here, uh, f of x equals x minus 1 over x squared plus 6x six minus 16. And this is what we call a rational function. It is a quotient between two polynomial x minus 1 and x squared plus 6x six minus 16. And down here, you, you see what I said. The domain of of all rational functions is all real number that make the denominator non-zero. So you may think about, oh, I'm going to keep guessing numbers, 0, 2, 7, and see, or negative 7, negative 5, and see which one does not make the denominator zero. This is a long way. So in fact, what you want to do is to take this denominator and make it equals to zero. We're going to spend just less time by finding when this denominator is equals to zero. Okay, So we have this quadratic equation and one way that you may want to solve it, if it's possible of course, is factoring. I'm looking for two numbers whose product is negative 16 and the sum is 6. That's my way of factoring product here, sum is here. What two number we have a product of negative 16 and the sum it's 6 those are going to be 8 and negative 2. If you need more help of factoring, you can find on my channel more example. So we have here x plus 8 times x minus 2. This is the factor form equals 0. Now, if you remember, we have a product equals to 0. We can use zero product property. Take each factor, make it equals to 0. So in this case, x plus 8 equals 0. That means x equals negative 8. And take the second factor, x minus 2 equals 0. And that will give us x equals 2. These are the value for which this quadratic, the denominator of this rational function is equal to 0. Look at here what I'm doing. I'm going to cross the equal sign because I don't want that. I need it to be something else not zero so the domain of this function is and i'm going to write it in this way x when x is different than negative 8 and x different than 2. This is one way to describe the domain in this raster form but there is another way where we can use what is called the interval notation. So how that looks in our case, negative infinity, negative 8. So this is the first part um, on the number line that will make the denominator non-zero. But then we have negative 8, 2, 2, the second part. And obviously we have a third part, 2, 2, infinity. Very important. Don't forget the union sign. This is another way to describe the domain using interval notation. Remember, uh, that's sometime in uh, upper math classes you what you need. Um, also, another way to see the domain is by looking to the graph. Okay, So if you have a choice, a calculator, um, computer system that allows you to graph, there you go. Look at here. If you notice, this rational function has this, what we call vertical asymptote at negative 8. And another vertical asymptote, I know it's hard to see it here, but it's still a vertical asymptote at 2. Okay, These are the moment where, maybe I should put a hole, uh, the function does not exist. We have an asymptote, how it's called, holes here, right? Um, and yes, this is the domain. Uh, these numbers. So then between negative 8 and 2, and then from 2 to whatever. Uh, if you enjoy this uh, example, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C square for more help. Thank you.